Uh, welcome all my dear brothers of Sikh primary schools. That's a week time for science. And today we will have the last review for all we what we have studied this semester. So please have uh, some paper now and have a pen or a pencil as you like. And if you can record this episode because today we have collected for you some important selection of questions that we have studied this semester for the second term exam. So now let's start with the first question, which is the complete the following statement. Let's start. Our question for today, today, inshallah, is to complete the following statement. So as I said, the question is very important. Please read the question carefully till the end word. The question is the last word in it, very important. And please answer the question slowly to answer correctly. Let's make let's make the question complete. Please read the question carefully till the end word. The question is the last word in it, very important. And please answer the question slowly to answer correctly. Let's make let's make the question complete. Please read the question carefully till the end word. The question is the last word in it, very important. The light bulb consists of point, point, and point. The light bulb, let us see this question now. The light bulb consists of three main parts, which are base, base, also the glass bulb, and the filament. The light bulb consists of the base, the base, and the filament, and also the glass bulb. طبعا الترتيب هنا مش مشكلة قوي لكن بعض الأسئلة بيكون الترتيب فيها مهم جدا جدا. Again, the light bulb, the question says the light bulb consists of the base, the filament and the glass bulb. Another question that says, materials are classified into two types from point of electric conduction. يعني أسبنا المواد لنوعين من ناحية توصيل الكهربائي. That they are electric conductors and also electric insulators. Electric conductors and also electric insulators. بس نحن سؤال كتير جدا في الموضوع ده حد يقول لي طب ممكن أكتب bad conductor وgood conductor تجاوزا ممكن نقول okay. لكن مش صح قوي. تفاعنا دائما في الكهرباء. الكهرباء يا اما هتوصل يا لا يعني يا اما كوندكتور يا اما انسيليتور لكن بالنسبه للهيت انرجي الطاقه الحريه اوكي ممكن اقول باد كوندكتور او جود كوندكتور سو اجين ذا كويشن سيز ماتيريالز ار كلاسيفايد انتو تو تايبس اكوردنج تو ذير كوندكتيفيتي اوف الكتريستي ذات ذي ار الكتريك كوندكتورز اند اولسو الكتريك انسيليتور الكتريك كوندكتورز اند اولسو الكتريك انسيليتور انذر كويشن ذات سيز ساكشن بامب ساكشن بامب از وات While point is a second class lever, suction pump, suction pump, trom bit el mia, or trom bit el mia, is a second class. Sorry, is a first class lever, as you know. Suction pump is a first class lever because it contains fulcrum between the effort force and the resistance force. While what is a second class lever? We have many examples such as wheel paro, nut cracker, and so on. Again. Suction pump is a second, is a first class lever. I'm sorry again. While wheel pyro is a second class lever. Suction pump is a first class lever. While wheel pyro is a second class lever. Another question that says light pulp contains light pulp contains. Oh sorry, light pulp changes. Light pulp changes what energy into what energy? Light pulp changes electric energy into light energy again light bulb changes electric energy into light energy another question that says filament of the light bulb is made of tungsten filament of the light bulb is made of what is made of tungsten and we know this question is very important in a point of give reason question so the مهم قوي في موضوع give reason ليه بنستخدم التنجستين في filament of the light bulb because tungsten has High melting point again because tungsten has high melting point. So again, the filament of the light bulb is made of tungsten because tungsten has high melting point. Because tungsten has high melting point. So now let me write this give reason question. Next is Alta Mabak F Shakli give reason. The question says, let us write. The question says give reason. Filament, next Mabat, filament of light bulb. Is made of, is made of tungsten. Why or give reason? Because we know that tungsten has high melting point. Because tungsten, because tungsten answer tungsten. The actor بعدن عنده درجة انصهار عالية جدا. Because tungsten has high melting point. عشان كده بيستحمل جدا inside the lamp or inside the light bulb melting point. Again, give reason question is a very, very important, very, very important question. Filament of the light bulb is made of tungsten because tungsten is, or, or because tungsten, sorry, has high melting point. So now let's back again to our question of complete. 
Another question that says, or a problem of lever, and I advise you more and more to answer the problem of lever correctly, you must at first write the law. عشان أجاوب أي lever problem, مسألة lever, لازم أول خطوة أكتب القانون and conclude the value beside them or uh, behind them. And, also, and after that, you can answer the problem correctly. So now, let's read this problem. The problem says, if a boy sits on a seesaw, it's wet, is 215 newton at a distance about 100 meters. هنا تخيل المسألة كده بيقول لي في ولد قاعد على سيسو على مرجيحة وزنه أو قوة وزنه 215 نيوتن at a distance about 100 centimeters from the fulcrum. And a girl sits on the other side. Her weight is 200 newton. Calculate the distance suitable to seat this girl to make pass. طبعا عشان أحل problem زي كده أنا قلت أول خطوة هتخيل شكل السيسو أو شكل المرجيحة نرسمها مع بعض. Already it lies like that, okay? Like the seesaw. هنا هتخيل في ولد قاعد. هنا another girl, okay? The boy has weight 215 newton, and the girl had weight 200 newton. The distance of the boy, مسافة الولد من الفالكرم, 100 centimeter. But the distance of the girl isn't found in the problem. هنا عايز أجيب distance of the girl to make balance between them. Up. The first step, I will have to handle the problem of lever. I can write the law, effort force by effort force arm or its arm equal resistance by resistance arm. It's the final actor. More than that, for example, the seesaw, تحديداً أو the balance, التوازن أو الميزان بنعتبر أي حد منهم هو the effort force والثاني يكون هو the resistance force. Okay. طب ممكن نعتبر the bent head effort force. Okay. والولد هو resistance. Okay. ما فيش مشكلة خالص. Effort force came here, 250 newton. Okay. By effort force arm, 100 centimeter. Equal resistance, 200 newton. By I want the resistance arm here. It's the demand. How the matlub mean? So the resistance arm equal. We have studied in mathematics. That's not in math. Cross multiplication. Back with them and the gain will come. The whole of it will be the number complete. 250 by 100 divide 200. 250. By 100 divide 200 by calculating them, it will be 125 centimeter. So it will be 125 centimeter. So again, the problem of lever is easy, even if uh, or uh, if you can answer it only uh, if you read it carefully and you must try the law at first. I should have a lever problem. Please, let's make a quiz. Awi, the lever problem. Or, for example, the lever. We need to first write the law. After that, I'll add the values under the law. After that, I'll see the values under the law. After that, I'll see the values under the law. After that, I'll see the values under the law. After that, I'll see the values under the law. After that, I'll see the values under the law. After that, I'll see the values under the law. After that, I'll see the values under the law. After that, I'll see the values under the law. After that, I'll see the values under the law. After that, I'll see the values under the law. After that, I'll see the values under the law. After that, I'll see the values under the law. After that, I'll see the values under the law. After that, I'll see the values under the law. After that, I'll see the values under the law. After that, I'll see the values under the law. After that, I'll see the values under the law. After that, I'll see the values under the law. After that, I'll see the values under the law. After that, I'll see the values under the law. After that, I'll see the values under the law. After that, I'll see the values Along another problem that says a long uniform metallic bar is hanging from its midpoint. A force of 40 newton exerts at 5 centimeter from this midpoint. Find the width which must be hanged at 25 centimeter to make the bar get balanced. طبعا قلت لازم اتخيلها برضو انها شبه بالضبط مسائل السيسو. هنرسم ده البار اتعلق من المنتصف تقريبا. في هنا width كان تقريبا 40 newton at a distance 5 centimeter. Okay. And another wet is hanging here. I don't know this wet. Okay, at about 25 centimeters. So now I want the wet. This wet. Okay. So now I will imagine that, or I will uh, calculate this is effort force and this is resistance. The final diamond for this so our metallic part, our balance. But if any one of them is effort force, you have to tell me which one is resistance. So the law says that effort force by effort force arm. Equal resistance by resistance R. Okay, so effort force here what? I don't know it. Effort force by effort force R. It will be 25 centimeters. Equal resistance. It will be 40 by resistance R. It will be 5 centimeters. So here I want what? I want effort force. Effort force isn't given in this problem. Effort force is a demand. He must look behind me. Effort force equal. We have the gamble the camel kolu 40 by 5. Over 25 by calculating its per calculator, it will be 40 divided 5 equal 8. 8 what? 
it Newton. Why Newton? Especially here, because we accepted that. The fan after Mara in the effort force or resistance and dom nafsil unit. It is mean Newton. Like an effort force arm or resistance arm. Mumkin you will be found meter or mumkin you will be a meter as the found in the problem. Hasab ma mugul udemi fell problem. So now we have answered another problem of labor law. And I advise you again, more and more, please read the problem carefully and then write the law at first. Another problem that says, the length of the force arm of a crow bar is 100 centimeter, and the length of the resistance arm is 15 centimeter. The value of the resistance is 400 newton. Calculate the value of the effort force. So now I will write the law at first. Next, we will about effort force by effort force arm equal resistance by resistance arm. أنا بهذا ده بيه مهم قوي إن غالبا في معظم المسائل بتبقى ال values متلخبطة يعني مش جايبها كلها in arrangement بالترتيب بيقولي هنا the length of the force arm of a crowbar is 100 centimeter force arm here 100 centimeter ما ننساش إن عندي equal don't forget by by the length of the resistance arm the resistance arm is 15 centimeter فين resistance arm sure here 15 centimeter the resistance is 400 a resistance 400 okay so what's the demand? It must look A key to effort force. So effort force equal what? Equal 400 the by sorry multiplied by 15 over 100. Double all to do my bond again. Actually, I'm already the side of the whole arc. I'm going to come like I'm going to have the problem. Divide equal hmm? 4 by 15 equal 60. 60 what? 60 newton. Again, why newton? Because I I accepted with you force and resistance are measured by Newton. Again, force and resistance are measured by Newton. But arm, force arm and resistance arm are measured by centimeter or meter as found in the problem. But now here in this problem, I have another question. The question says, mention the type of this lever. Oscar Noel lever D. Tabaharaf has a mokum The first way, out the real He said in this problem, it's a crowbar. We already crowbar. Atala. And I think it's a crowbar. He first class lever. طريقة تانية دي أحسن شوية بتكون في كل المسائل فبص كويس أوي على الإيفورت فورس أرم والريزيستانس أرم which one is longer if the effort force arm is longer than the resistance arm it may be first class lever or second class lever but if the effort force arm the effort force arm shorter than resistance arm it will be third class lever but here I found that effort force arm is more resistance arm so it will be Fairest or second, but it's a crop bar. You have a fairest class lever, not third class lever. Okay, so now we have answered another problem of lever. So the last problem, I have a problem. The length of the force arm, sorry, in second class lever, the effort force is 150 Newton. The length of the force arm is 20 Newton, and the resistance 300 Newton. Calculate the resistance arm. Fairest step, our khatwa ba amela fil problem, bas ma hakira awun nukum. Effort force by effort force arm, yeah, equal hmm? resistance by resistance arm. فعند ناس بيقولوا قانون تاني تاني خالص وبرضو صح بيقولي effort by its arm equal resistance by its arm. They are the same. الاثنين صح جدا جدا. Okay. Effort force here. نمشي كده بالترتيب. Effort force at 150 newton. نرجع للproblem تاني. Effort force 150 newton. Okay. Effort force arm, 20 centimeter. Effort force arm, 20 centimeter. Don't forget, there is by here. There is multiply. There is equal, and also there is by here. The uh, effort for, uh, force arm, sorry, 20 centimeter. The resistance, 300. Resistance, 300. So I want me, I will need now the resistance arm. Can I take a key resistance arm? So the resistance arm equal what? Equal 150 by 20 over 300 so it will be divide divide 1 divide 150 equal 2 it will be 20 divide 2 equal 10 10 what 10 centimeter because we have accepted the final colina in the armada the armada centimeter you have a centimeter but centimeter because it's an arm okay so now we have answered many problem of levers and in this uh, uh, type of questions, especially the levers law or the lever problem, problem sorry, I advise you please read the problem carefully and then write the law at first and then you can conclude the value under 
uh, each one of them and at last you will find the absent value في الاخر خالص بيطلب مني القيمه اللي مش مطلوبه في بعض المسائل الليفر تاني حليناها قبل كده كتير جدا بيكون الفور فاليوز كلهم اوريدي موجودين طب هيطلب مني ايه هيطلب مني في بالانس ولا هجيب اللفت سايد والرايت سايد لو نفس الفاليو نفس الرقم نفس النمبر يبقى الليفر دي هنا بالانسد لو مش نفس الرقم يبقى الليفر از نوت بالانسد سو ناو ليتس موف تو انذر تايب اوف كويشن ويتش از ذا تشوز ذا كوريكت انسر اي نو اول اوف يو لايك ذس كويشن ا لوت But this question is a double-wedged weapon. How was the answer? Hadin, the question is correct. Why? Because maybe there are more than one answer is correct. Rabbi, may I come to the answer? Maybe it's wrong. For example, we have questions or multiple choice A, B, C, and D. Maybe A and C are correct. Maybe all the previous, all the previous answers A and C, and so on. So please, let's open the question. Our question is that we have a couple of choices, and Rabbi, may I come to the answer? Maybe it's wrong. Maybe it's wrong. Let's start with the first question that says, all the following conduct electricity except, all the following conduct electricity except, iron, copper, clothes, aluminum. كل الحاجات ديت بتوصل الكهرباء. إلا مين? Sure, clothes, because clothes is an insulator or because clothes are insulator material. Another question that says, the partial solar eclipse appears in the area of Ampra, بينامبرا نيجاتيف شادو انتامبرا شور دفعنا قبل كده اكتر مره قلنا البارشال بيحصل في منطقه تبدا بنفس الحرف اللي بيبدا بيه كلمه بارشال شور ات ويل بي ذا بينامبرا بارشال سو اكليبس ابيز ان ذا اريا اوف ذا بينامبرا ذا فيلمنت اوف ذا لايت بالب از ميد اوف تانجستين كوبر ليد ايرون شور اتس تانجستين اند اولسو وي هاد ستارتد ذات Filament is made of tungsten because tungsten has high melting point. Again, because tungsten has high melting point. When we connect more than one pulp in parallel, an electric source, the lightning of the pulps decreases, increases, doesn't change A, P, and C. طبعاً هنا مستحيل أقول له A, P, and C إن في جتنا عكس بعض. Decrease or increase. طب لما بوصل لبعض parallel. شفنا أكتر مرة أكتر من فيديو. لما بوصل بارل ايه اللي بيحصل للاضاءه؟ It doesn't change ما بتوصلش اصلا ان البارل كل لامب فيه works independently بتشتغل باستقلال كل لامب بيكون ليها electric circuit دايره خاصه بيها وليها نفس كميه electricity او كميه الكهرباء. So in parallel the light intensity doesn't change but in series the light intensity decreases لكن في حاله السيريز الاضاءه فعلا بتقل. Another question that says first class lever differ from second class lever in The absence of active force, the presence of the fixed point, the position of the fulcrum, the presence of the resistance. Sure, the position. بيختلف في إيه أو أي نوع لبر سواء كان فرس أو سكند أو سيرج in the position of the fulcrum, the effort force and the resistance. لكن absence or presence وجود أو غياب هما كلهم عندهم نفس three points. لهم fulcrum, effort force and the resistance force. So again. The first class lever differ from second class lever or third class lever in the position of the fulcrum. في مكان الفالكرم فين؟ هل هو in the middle ولا at the two ends? Another question that says, when the moon comes between the sun and the earth, what happens? Tornado, solar eclipse, lunar eclipse, tsunami. Sure, when the moon comes in the middle between sun and the earth, solar eclipse occurs. Solar eclipse occurs. Another question that says, the filament of the light bulb, it's a very important question, so it's submitted again today. It's made of tungsten. Why? Because it has low density, it has low melting point, it has high melting point, it reacts with oxygen. Sure, the filament of the light bulb is made of tungsten because it has high melting point. Again, let me start with tungsten, first night, the filament of the light bulb, Because it has high melting point. Because it has high melting point. <coughs> Another question of choose the correct answer. Again, I advise you please read all the choices. Tweezers is considered as second class lever because tweezers or mulad bin tibru third class lever. Sorry, third class lever. Li because fulcrum is between the effort force and the resistance. Effort force is between the resistance and fulcrum. Resistance is between effort force and fulcrum. Resistance force and effort force affect on the same point. 
طب نفتكر مع بعض كده احنا قلنا كلمه سريه تعرفني كل انواع الليفر هي كلمه ارف او ار اف لو او ان ذا ميدل ات ويل بي فيرست كلاس ليفر ار ان ذا ميدل ات ويل بي سكند كلاس ليفر اف ان ذا ميدل ات ويل بي ثيرد كلاس ليفر يبقى ارف او ار اف هتعرفني اي نوع ليفر طب هي امتى تكون في ثيرد كلاس ليفر نوع الثالث من الليفر لو اف ان ذا ميدل اف يعني افورت فورس سو ات ويل بي افورت فورس بيتوين resistance and fulcrum in the middle when effort force is between resistance and the fulcrum again tweezers is considered as third class lever because effort force is between resistance and the fulcrum another question that says to observe solar eclipse safely you should wear عشان نلاحظ كسوف الشمس بامان لازم ارتدي special glasses heavy claws medical glasses Lenses. Sure, we must wear special glasses. خاصة اللي بنستخدمها في 3D cinemas أو 3D dimensions because it protects us from very harmful radiation that are uh, infrared radiation and also uh, ultraviolet radiation. But now we have another question, and after that we have a break. Okay, which of the following is second class lever? Sure, it will be wheel paddle. So now we have a break and after this short break we will meet again with our uh, friends of first prep grade because we have also another collection of very important questions for them in their exam uh, next week inshallah. Now thank you and goodbye with all possible